Okay, so good morning everyone. In the last tutorial, we have already finished the basic shape of the tank. For the next part, we are going to make more detail, including the detail of the head, detail of the body, and also the detail of the wheels. So let's start with the body. Let's take a look. I think in the last tutorial, I already said that before, uh, between the head and the body, we're supposed to make some detail here. So let's try to do that, okay? Actually, it's not that complicated. First thing is I want to enlarge the head because it, right now it seems like the head is a little bit too small. So probably let's select all of them, scale up a little bit, make this one bigger. So probably it will look better and move this one up. Okay, so for the next things, we can try to take a look of the R reference. So it seems like in the middle part, they're supposed to have has a flattened area, okay? Here, as well you can see here, it's supposed to have a flattened area, this one as well. So let's try to do that. First thing is, we still can change the geometry of the body. Hold on your shift and control key and you can select the sub object of the geometry, like the line, like the vertex. So right now I'm going to change the decline Phase of the, the body. The choosing, hold on, shift the control key, select the line here, the switch to the shading mode so that you can see more clear. I hope this part can be uh, declined more. And also for this part, I think it can be probably a little bit longer. So let's hold on, shift the control key, select the face, and make them longer. All right? Something like this. Let's take our reference because our reference is very important. So make this one longer. Okay, something like this. All right, and also for this one as well. Hold on, shift the control key. I hope it can be shorter. And for the head, let's move this one forward. Okay, uh, sorry, because we should, all right, sorry, I forget to move this part, but it doesn't matter. Let's just mirror again. M-I-R-O-R, -R, mirror one time, one more time. So now it looks fine. So I think right now the proportion is much more correct. So let's try to make the flattened area. So how can we make that? Very simple, let's just create a box. For the tank, the, actually it's pretty easy because uh, most of the detail part is just about the simple primitive geometry. So we can just use a simple box and shift that and make get the geometry we want. So let's try to move this one to the right position and I want to create this area. So the thickness you can depend, uh, you can define by yourself, but probably I will make them like this. All right, so it looks okay. So like both of them, put in union, join them together. Okay, so now we have one more layer of the, uh, of the body area. And also probably for this part, it also has some detail here. So how can we make that? Well, let's try to use in a cube again. Again, let's try to draw a cube, choose in a box here and draw one more. Let's do it again. Uh, okay, let's choose in, I think probably using this one will be better. Let's draw a box right here. All right, and then scale one is down. The things I wanna do is to make a hollow area probably right here. So that's, uh, but it's a little bit different because it's, for this photo, it doesn't seem to have a hollow area, but for this one, it looks like we have. So, well, anyway, and for this one, it doesn't have. So I'm not so sure which one is correct, but anyway, let's try to make some detail right here, all right? So now I have this one, okay? I have this one. So I wanna make, select this curve, this one, hold, shift, hold on your shift and control key. So let's curve right here and make some decline surface right here. And next one, move the object inside, move them up. All right, so now we have. Next part, let's use in Boolean difference. Again, it's just about how to use in geometry and cutting off them and shift them and you can get the result. So choosing the body first, that's the one we wanna cut. And this one is the one which we're using for cut. Press enter, so now we have. For this part, we can try to create a beautiful chamfer, a field lay surface. So let's use this one. And for the radius, I wanna use in probably around 15. 
Okay, so now we have the detail. For this part, I also want to let them have some curvature. So let's use this one again, and probably just three will be quite enough. Okay, and for this part as well, just three. But remember, because for field lay curve, field lay surface is not a continuous surface. So this part still will leave some uh, little, well, probably little surface right here. So we have to delete that using trim. Choosing the one which we're using for knife, which means the surface, uh, the field lay surface, and then delete this area. All right, press enter, and it will be done. Select all of them, and press Ctrl J, join them as one. And now you will find out it turn out become red color. What happened to that? It doesn't matter, it's just about the surface direction. So we can choose in this one and type in flip and it will become the front face again. So next things I want to do is about the detail joint right here. So let's just you to create a little box. Choose this one and extrude. If you think it's too thick, it doesn't matter. You can just use in gumball for making this one smaller. And also, I think the distance between all these joints is not regular, so we can tr you can try to do that by yourself. You can change that. And we have to make this one become a triangle, so let's go to the right view. Okay, this one's here, and I want to hide this one. This one doesn't need, we don't need that anymore. Let's using a polyline, cut off this one, and using trim. Choosing the curve first. Choosing the curve, enter. Choosing the surface, second. Now we have. So remember, because we're using trim, so it's an empty surface. So we have to use cap to recap this geometry. So for the next part, we can just use in simple uh, using gumbo to duplicate this, this little joint. Probably here we have we need to have one. And also here we need to have one. Okay. And because for this one actually it's also a mirror object. So we can just copy this stuff to another side. And also right now it seems like too huge. So we can choose an old plan and probably using transform, scale, scale one day, scale this one down. For this one is for the y direction, well we can do the same thing. Using scale 1D and make this one smaller. After that, let's just Ctrl X, cut off this one. Go to the block and paste Ctrl V, paste this one inside. So it will be copied to another side. Alright? So very easy. And for the rest part, well, up to you. If you want to keep following the, our reference image, well, we can just keep adding more stuff here. But well, I think well, I just want to add probably one or two more. So let's take a look. Uh, maybe we can also create this kind of little nail on the side, so we can put the nails here or here. And also probably we can use this one as a detail and put this kind of uh, probably wrong. I'm not so sure why this, but anyway, if they're supposed to have some uh, wrong detail here. So let's double click, copy this one, Ctrl C for copy, and Ctrl V, paste again, and rotate this one to 90 degree. Probably, uh, actually right now we can explode this one, because right now we don't need this one to be the wheel anymore, and I don't want to change this one and change this part as well, so we can explore. And let's put probably this detail on the side and go to top view. Make sure it's on the right position. Probably it can be bigger. So let's try to make this one bigger. And using move tool, move tool. Move these two things to the right position. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks fine. And let's mirror this one to the other side. Type in mirror and using uh, drag a 
draw a mirror plan and move his two things to this to another side. And let's take a look. Well, it looks okay. How about the rest of the part? Well, probably let's create the two more right here. Let's use them as the probably the headlight or something. So let's hold on control auto key and rotate for 90 degree. Move these two things forward. Okay. It looks okay fairly okay but a little bit weird. So let's make these two things smaller. Hold on your shift key and you can scale in all the different directions. Probably just uh 0.5 will be fine. So make them smaller and move these two things to the side and move a little bit forward so reflect so let's move this one forward okay make sure this must go out of the tank body okay and for this part let's just using mirror mirror tools and mirror the sky to the side all right, place pretty much finished. So now let's choose an old plan. And again, fully union. So I think right now you already know how to add more detail here. It just it's just about to probably make some more prop little bugs and little tube and make more detail. So that's how it works. And also we can try to extrude some face. So for example, like this part. Let's hold on shift and control key and hold on choosing this surface and hold on shift key and auto key and we can do the copy okay so now we have and so next part I want to extrude a surface right here so let's use an offset surface probably uh, yeah five centimeter will be fine and choosing both of them so union if you want more detail well we can just extrude one more time hold on shift the control key select the face here Hold on your shift key, make this part smaller, and copy one more smaller face in the middle. Ah, or probably we can, eh, it's also good. So let's do that again. Select this face and make this one smaller. Sorry, let's do that again. Shift and control key and select the face. Hold on your shift key and using the scale down combo and make this one smaller. Okay, so now it's pretty much done. For this part, well, I think it's pretty much the same. So you can do the same thing. Hold on shift control key, select this face, and hold on your shift and auto key, select the inner face. All right, so now we have this one. And next part, I want to offset this surface, but in a di negative direction. So let's click, change the direction of the arrow. And let's extrude the distance, I think this time using probably just two, okay. So how next part I want to use in boolean difference choosing the body first press enter choosing the one which we're using for cut second and then now we have this let's go to the render mode and take a look about our pen okay it looks fine so actually much more detail than be much more details than before and I want to turn off the ISO curve so that it will not bothering us and also for the, the component as well let's turn off the ISO curve clear okay all right so here now we have this tank it looks fine so next things I want to make some detail on this part and also this part let's start with this this part first okay it's more easier let's go to shady mode and let's take a look about this part actually it looks like pretty simple so Let's just create some simple, maybe, yeah, something like this, or, okay, also this part have to be, uh, we have to cut off this area, make this one has a triangle corner, so a sharp corner, so that's all, and also probably we can make some detail like this one, anything else, I think, yeah, that's pretty much the whole, whole thing, double click, let's go to here, and using the draw, draw a box here, Oh, sorry, let's do it again. It's not that precise. Let's draw a box first and then extrude. Alright, so okay. Let's join them together. 
you choosing both of them, both of them and choosing union. Okay, so next part is go to the top view. Let's go to the top view and using polyline and draw a curve here. And for the rest of the part, just using mirror. So just type in mirror, M I R R O R, mirror the curve. And using train, choosing the curve first, enter and delete the surface. And don't forget using cap to cap the empty area. All right, so now we have. How about another part? So actually, for this part, I want to make more detail. So let's shoot using extrude, okay? Shift and control key, choosing the face here. And then hold on your shift and the auto key or shift and auto key, extrude one time, and then choosing the face here, hold uh, using extrude. Sorry, let's using offset surface will be easier. And go down, and I hope this one can be in the cutting line. So let's using uh, change the extrusion direction and change the distance into two. Okay, so next part is using Boolean union, a uh, Boolean difference. Sorry, press the object which you want to subtract from, press enter, and then what choosing the one which we're using for cutting. Okay, so now we have. So for the next part, we can try to create some uh, detail here. I want to create a cube here, just like uh, that kind of mechanical detail. So let's choosing draw a curve and type in pipe. All right. So now we have, and probably we can copy more. And choosing all of them, Boolean union. Okay, so why else? Probably this part we can also make using chamfer. Before that, we didn't use in chamfer, but right now we can try to use in chamfer. I think because this, the thickness of this part probably is two by two, so let's just use in distance two by two. Right, it looks okay. Press enter again, do that again. Well, for the cham the difference between chamfer and fillet surface is that one is make a sharp corner and another one is make a round corner. So we still have to delete this part. So using trim, choosing a face, enter, delete. Let's do that again, choosing a face, delete the face. All right, so let's join all of them together. Let's go to the random one, take a look about the result we made. Okay, I think it looks fine. And I want to create some little uh, nails, uh, sorry, not nails. Yeah, little nails on, the, on this side. So just using sphere. Okay, using sphere, let's go to the top view. Probably draw the sphere here. Okay, this is the nail, and let's copy for for the distance. The space between the nails is around thirty centimeter. So let's just copy, copy. For all the things right inside this tutorial, it's just about making detail. So actually, I think there is no spatial, nothing spatial, just about how to deal with the detail. And as far as you know, uh, if you want to make the detail for the tank, just using extrude and using Boolean union, add more object on the top, and it will look like that. You can get a similar result. Okay, probably something like this. Press Ctrl G, group them. Ah, I forget one, the last one, it's okay. Let's cut one more and choosing all of them. Uh, sorry, choosing all these objects. And Boolean Union. Okay, so now we have. So for this part, well, still you can try to add more detail here, but I think we can try to make some detail here. It will be looks better. So let's hold on shift and control key and hold on shift and auto key, copy one more face inside these geometries. Alright, so now we have this one. Move this one up, 
probably extrude okay and that's boolean union then and also probably i'd like to use in these three to make some carving text uh, carving detail on this geometry so let's hold on shift and on auto key copy this three at least four and we can well we can explore them explore all right and then choosing all of them make move them inside let's go to the side view probably here we need one more and also this side one cluster so probably more closer to the border so choosing all of them and boolean union okay all right so click ok so now we have basically i think right now it looks well fairly okay not a perfect one but i would say fairly okay so the next next things well we actually we can delete this curve so let's double click go into the black and delete the curve so the next part the final thing actually it will be the hardest part it will be about the head part so the hardest part is about how to make the head has the wrong corner the wrong uh, wrong shape so that's the uh, well it's not that easy but try to follow my tutorial okay so let's go to first things let's try to make the detail like this okay it's very simple it's way more simple than make this become, become cor the wrong corner so let's choose this one first let's go to shady mode and for all the rest of things i think i would like to move them to the side otherwise it will be a little bit annoying all okay so try to make this one first let's go to the side view switch to the shady mode so first things i want to create a detail like this how can we do that very simple let's draw a reference curve here and using cylinder okay draw a cylinder here and extrude to the other side actually we can make this one a little bit longer and this one a little bit shorter actually we can make all of them become a little bit shorter and also probably while we are working on this model we accidentally move the joint here so it's not in the center anymore I have to fix that let's use a move turn on project and hold on shift the key move this one back to the center okay so now we have next one let's go to here I hope this one can be more short so uh, sh mo uh, shorter than before so again let's short make this one shorter and for these things well I want to make a round corner so let's use in fill like uh, three I think th three centimeter I think is okay so let's just use in three centimeter press enter again repeat the last command choose one phase choose the second phase now we have don't forget to join them together otherwise they are still separated Ctrl G for join also this part Ctrl G for join all right so now we have also I want to extrude one more time so let's choose in uh, the face here let's choose the face uh, sorry hold on shift and control key choosing the face here and hold on your auto key and the shift key make a smaller one uh, sorry let's do uh, let's do that one uh, one uh, one side and mirror to another side right so let's just using true I think it will be easier so like this face here shift and control key and extrude probably negative 5 for this part as well shift control key select the face and extrude 5 all right so now we have and how about the things like this Yo, it's the same so just choosing the face here hold on shift the control key select the sub face and then hold on the auto key and copy one time so now we have the face right here next part using offset surface and for the distance well I would like to using 5 well okay so it's pretty much done 
probably 5 is too much. So let's do that again. Let's change to probably 2.5. Alright, so now we have. So, once we finish, let's choose an old drone here. Control G, make a group. Okay, so next part about the things here. Remember, for now, we are going to use in block. So just double click, go into the block. Otherwise, it won't work. So how can we make it a run corner? Actually, we're just using field light. But for field light like this, to make things like this, this one actually, as far as you can see, it's not continuous line. This is one section, another section, one section, one section. So there are many different sections. And for this part, I hope this part can keep probably more like a sharp, well, geometry. So how can we do that? Well, let's try to do that, okay? So first things, we have to uh, explode this one all right and just in case i want to copy one more because this uh, this surface usually will it will broken or it will disappear when we are when we are working on well sometimes if we using the wrong command it will disappear so just based on my experience i'll ask you guys to copy one more all right so now let's using fill the surface for this part i think we can have a bigger one so uh let's try to use in maybe uh maybe probably 25 let's take a look okay it looks okay and for this part as well press enter again well as far as you can see now it disappear right so that's what the reason i tell you you have to copy one more so let's copy one more hold on your auto key move move this one down and type in move turn off your project Move the geometry to here. All right, so let's do that again. Fill the surface. Okay. Fill the surface, and for this part, let's don't let's ignore this area. But as well, actually, it works, but it's pretty weird. Every part was broken. So how can we fix that? Well, because right now, remember one important thing: inside Rhino, says everything is based on geometry. Uh, geometry mathematics so for all the curve all the surface right here they have different degree so it is impossible for us to per make a perfect continuous uh, round surface here so we have to fix that manually let's go to the top view all right let's go to the top view and how can we fix that well we have to cut off the intersecting area manually let's click ok first I want to isolate this one, otherwise it will be too complicated for us to do the fixed uh, fixed area, but for, for to the fix to fix this part. Let's go to wireframe mode. Double click again. So right now the first let's take a look about the first phase. Here is the second phase, and here is the first phase. So we have to find the intersection part. Let's using polyline. So here is the intersection point. First, first the intersection point. And here is the second intersection point. Let's take a look, okay? I will turn off the ISO curve so that you can see more clear. Here, this is the one intersection point, another intersection point. So let's just cut off this part and this part, and it will be fine. Let's use in trim, choosing a curve here, cut off, cut off. So now it looks okay. So for this part as well, let's just use in point line. Choosing one point, second point, press enter. And then choosing train using the curve as the cutting tool, press enter, delete, and delete. Okay, so now it looks fine. For this part as well, let's just use in polyline. First intersection point, and here there's a pretty weird thing because these two objects they don't have the same degree, so it's impossible for us to make a perfect one. But it's okay. So just choosing this part. This one as the intersection point and using train. Choosing the line, cut off. Alright, now let's go back to the 3D mode. So for now it looks okay, but the weird part is here. As far as I can see, it doesn't have the correct geometries. It doesn't have the parallel geometry, it's not connected to here. So we have to draw a curve here manually, all right? And we don't need this one anymore. We can just delete and use 
Let's use in train to delete this area. Press enter, delete this part. Okay. And if you remember, there is a little command which we have used before, which name sweep2. So now we can use in that. Let's use in surface sweep2. Let's choose in this one as so a first rail, second rail, and one section. So now press enter. So as far as I can see, now we have. So basically, I think it's pretty much finished. So the last part is about to uh, to finish the top side, the top face. So we don't need this one, we can just delete. And we can choose in all the surface here. Press Ctrl J for join, make them become one. And let's use in this surface as a cutting tool and delete this area. Well, it doesn't work. Why? Well, uh, sometimes because probably the intersection part is too close. So Rhino cannot help us to do that. That's okay, let's use it manually. Let's duplicate the edge. We can go to curve and curve from object, duplicate edge. And we can duplicate the border curve from the surface geometry. So let's choose in the surface border, press enter. Now we have the curve. Let's press Ctrl J for drawing them together. And right now we have a uh, for this part, obviously, there's a little to gap between this part and that part. That's okay. Let's just draw a manually curve here. Press Ctrl J for join. All right. And also draw one more curve here. Make sure everything go out of the. Uh, make sure everything go out of the target surface, target geometry. All right. So now we have. So I think right now it's supposed to work. Let's press Ctrl T and select the cutting curve and delete. So now it worked. Ctrl J, join them together. So the next part we have to do is to fix this area. So how can we fix this part? It looks a little bit real, a little bit weird. Let's delete this curve first. So how can we make this part work? So actually, let's go to the top view, take a look at this one. This part is parallel. It's, it's just a parallel regular box. So we can just get the shape here, okay? The shape here, and extrude, and we can fix this area. So let's choose in polyline, draw the curve here, and then extrude. So now we have, join them together. And then for this part, let's just use in this curve to cut off the rest of the area. So let's use in split. Choosing the curve here, enter. Choosing this one, enter and we can delete the rest of the surface for all the things here let's just choose an old plan ctrl j for drawing them together and for this one as well so now it become a shape with a round corner click ok finish this one and call out everything all right so i think right now it looks pretty good it has a round corner round shape so, but we forget to delete this one. Let's just delete. So next part, let's try to make some detail like this, okay? It's very simple. I'd like to use in the one we are, where the, which we already have. So let's double click, copy uh, the, the wheel. And right now you may find out, actually this is a block and also the wheel part is also a block. So this is a block inside a block. So that's the interesting part of a of Rhino model. It's just like a hierarchy system, and you can use it this way to manage your model. All right, anyway, let's just copy one more, and Control X, cut off this one, and pass the inside. So the next thing I wanna do is to create this kind of little detail on the on this uh, tank head. So let's explore, and I wanna copy this guys, okay? I want to use this one as the detail, so let's go to the top view. So I want to put this one all this thing here, and also there is the entrance of this tank, and also on the back side, let's suppose it has a join here. So let's try to do that, okay? Let's rotate this one to 90 degree, I'm sorry, probably 180 degree, okay? And move this one here. Let's go to the top view, shade it, shade it more. And probably one can be here, another one can be here. All 
Alright. And probably one more be the back side. Let's go to the front view. And this part is supposed to be smaller. So uh, right now this one cover my vision. So I want to move this one aside. Okay. Smaller. Just like this. Then also make this one probably going down a little bit. Okay. It looks fine. And okay. So probably just like this. Okay. Maybe not here. Uh, probably here. And I also want this part to be smaller. Things like this. Okay, cool. So let's choose in old plan and using Boolean Union. Okay, so now we have. For this part as well, but before we do that, I want to make a round corner here. So let's try to do that using field leg. And for the degree, I think it can be 10. Okay, looks fine. And for this part as well, let's try to use 10. And using train to delete, ah, uh, sorry, to delete this area. Ah, doesn't work. Why? That's okay. Let's just enlarge. Uh, here, there is some problem here. So let's undo that. How do I think this part is supposed to work? Hmm? Doesn't work. Weird. Let's enlarge this one. Hold on your auto key, copy one more, and using this one for cutting. Choosing this one with the knife, delete. Ooh. So actually, there is something error happened here. I'm not so sure what's going on, but, well, Actually, for Rhino says, we have many different ways to fix that. So let's explore and choosing all the face here. Control G for join. And for this part, let's just delete. And we can use cap. Oh, doesn't work. Why? Ah, because this area. Okay, that's because this area, we didn't delete that. Mm, all right. That's using this one as the knife, Ctrl T for cutting. Alright, and Ctrl J for join, cap. Oh, still doesn't work. Or just using planar surface, choosing the curve here. Hmm, weird. Okay, if this still doesn't work, oh, that's choosing another way to do that. That's using loft to create a very huge face here. And then hold on your shift key, enlarge this one. It's not, it seems like it's not a flattened surface, okay? So I think that's the problem for this time. Why is it supposed to be flattened? Oh, no, it's not a flattened surface. Sorry, that's my mistake. Actually, it's not a flattened surface. Okay, so probably it's not working. That's okay, let's undo that. We just keep, let's keep this one. Hide this one and using this for cutting. Let's fix this part first. And for this part, let's try to delete the uh, train again. Ctrl T for train. Hmm, still doesn't work. All right. Okay, let's ignore this part, right? Because I think right now there is something error happened here. That's okay. Let's just using it's true. Choosing the face shift and auto key and alt O key and shift the key, copy one more. Extrude one inner surface here. Ah, sorry. 
or if you want to fix this part, we can use it this way. Choosing the face here, and type, uh, select all the face and choosing the Y direction, flatten this part, and it will be fixed. Okay, it will be flat. Uh, it will be fixed. But probably for this part, it will be pretty weird because this part is still empty, so it's not a very good idea. Let's redo that. Redo that again. Okay. Let's first thing is that try to clean up this part. Choosing the face here, enter, and unhide the face here. Select all plan, Ctrl J for join, and then Shift and Ctrl key, select the face here, and flatten this part. So now it will become a flattened surface. So <coughs> I think right now the field A surface is supposed to work. Ctrl T for a trim. No, still doesn't work. Alright, let's forget about that. Shift and auto key. Auto key and shift. And copy one more face. <coughs> and use this inner object to for cutting. Choose this one. Choose that one. Okay, so now we have. It's using Boolean Union, join them together. Okay, so now it's pretty much finished. Let's click OK. Okay, so now I want to do, ex I want to extrude this part. So let's choose the face here. <coughs> and uh, hold. let's copy one more. So let's use Auto Key and move one more. For this one, I want to extrude and using this one for cutting the heck uh, tank head okay something like this so let's use him boolean okay so now we have expand choosing the face again shift and control key select the face again all right i will keep like that so let's click OK. So next part, uh, I want to cut off this one. Control X, cut off this one. Because for the entrance, it should not be the it should not be the symmetry one. So let's just put the entrance in one side. It will be quite enough. Let's rotate ninety degree. Okay, and we don't need this one anymore. So just like this, Ctrl G for, join, uh, for group, and put the entrance to the side, probably here. Okay, something like this. Okay, pretty much finished. So the rest part, I think let's just create some detail on the side and it will be quite enough. So maybe here, let's go to it, go inside. And I want to cap all the empty area. So next part we can use in boolean to delete this area. And also I want to delete this face here. Like all fan control G will join. Let's create a cube. Let's rotate 90 degree. Bigger and using the chamfer surface. So this time I want to use 10, 10. Okay, cool. Control T for train. Cut off this part. All right. And also shift and auto key. Make this part smaller. Right. And Shift and out, uh, shift and auto key. Copy one more face. Extrude, uh, sorry, and extrude one more time. All right, and union. Combine them together. Okay, for this part, that's choosing as well. Shift and auto key. Copy one more, and extrude. 
and select all fan union. Okay, clear OK. So I think it's been pretty much finished. Let's go to the render mode and let's take a look at our final result. For this part, I want to turn off the ISO curve. So, yeah, and finally about the kernel. For the kernel, I think it's pretty simple. Let's go to the using this one as the reference, uh, as the my, I, oh, sorry for that because this part actually, this one is not that one. So let's, okay, let's delete and copy one more. Rotate. Pull this guy to the right position. Okay. So that's it. Ah, it's not in the center. It's okay. Let's adjust that. MOVE UC Move Tool and turn on your projecting tools. Go to wireframe mode, it will be easier. Okay. Shade it. Make it. Make this one bigger. Alright. So, for the detail of the kernel, let's just try to do that, okay? As using Shady Mode and copy one more. Hold on your auto key. Copy one more cube and scale one is down. And for the things here, let's get, just copy one more, scale up, make this one bigger and uh, longer. Okay. And uh, I think, well, yeah, probably let's use in the fillet or chamfer. Try to make some sharp corner here and for this time the distance is supposed to be one something like this don't forget join them together okay click okay so now we have so let's oh I think let's go to the random mode take a look at our result so I think it's pretty much finished for the rest of part that I would I'd like to hide all plan Press Control. Uh, we can select all plan and move plan to probably a new layer. Let's click this one and we can create a new layer. Let's call this layer back up and move them inside. Change object layer and hide them. So now we have this tank. And but right now it doesn't have any material. So how can we assign material to this tank? Well, that's about the next tutorial. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.